Well, up to Uh Okay. Small update. I figured out a way for me to record video and have it compressed for auto assembly. Okay. Since last year, I overheated greatly. Literally, I overheated big time. I didn't have a drink with me. And one of the rules of going to a convention always have a drink on hand. I did not. So, yeah. This year, I'm carrying a backpack with me. And, well, my backpack actually has a hidden pocket in the back. So, yeah, I can just pop the laptop in the hidden pocket. And padlock it just so that either this wire which plug on it I've got many a device that have that plug on it it's a little in joke with me and my mum that when we find an item with that plug socket or plug piece we get it. So uh, we have quite a few, like quite a few electrical devices that use that plug. I have three MP3s and we have a few cameras. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm literally going to be using this plug with my mum's old camera, or I'm using this plug with my camera. So yeah. Depending on which one does better video, it depends on which camera I'll be taking. But, yeah, basically the wire will be thread between a small gap between the two zips. Well, between the zip. I don't know if it's a double zip or a single zip, so I'll have to check. And I'll have to have an extension on this just in case, because, um, yeah, it's not a long cable. This one, on the other hand, um, okay, yeah, um, I'm stretching out my arms here, and it, they come up to my wrists. So, yeah, uh, four, five foot. I don't know, roughly about. This one's only two foot. Yeah. Much longer. Yeah. The in-joke lead is much longer than my practical lead. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the reason why I'm not using this to record videos at the moment is because I'm just sorting out a few things, got a few irritating programs, like installing themselves, like well, Delta, Conduit, Glitterus, I hate that. I just got irritating viral programs that just keep installing themselves and I try my best to get rid of them. But, yeah, uh, since my laptop has the little glitch of not turning off when you close the lid, I can use that to my advantage. As long as it keeps doing that up to auto assembly, then I can record video with it. Now, video from this thing takes up a lot of memory. Yeah. 20 minutes, 800 megabytes. Not very easy to upload to YouTube. Recording it through this cable to my laptop, 80 megabytes reduced greatly, and that's still 20 minutes. So taking that taking that into account, and maybe also using Serif Movie Plus, I can break that down even further to maybe. 
couple hundred megabytes because I'm hopefully going to be recording a few hours of footage. Be there for the day. Yeah, and night. Yeah, last time we were there, we were staying a the night there, but my dad didn't know that I could go in there towards the night. So I get a little extra time, and he will come in and try and find me. Well, either him or my mum, because we've only got two tickets to go there. Uh, one for either of my parents to get in. So they'll be switching back and forth. But, yeah. But the backpack... I'm going to be carrying drinks, maybe... a uh, snack or two, like... Uh, maybe some biscuits. Just, just something to give me some energy. And I'm also going to be carrying bags. A lot of bags. I plan on bringing my merch more this year. I plan on getting a few figures I need to get my hands on. Like those Optimus Primes I need for the custom. I need to get the Demolisher and I might even find a Ripclaw. I want a Ripclaw. But also, I'm hoping to get a Megazord. It would be awesome if I found a Super Train. Because that, that's on my list. I've checked the prices on eBay. Twenty pounds! Dude! I don't even care if it's got those tiny little pieces on it. The only things that I care about are those two front pieces on the fists. Those are all I care about. The antenna on the head? I can easily fashion those. They're not that hard to make. I've got an action figure version of the Super Train Megazord I can use for reference. And I can easily get the pieces printed, so... Mm. Simple as. Super Train Megazord, it's on my list. 20 to 40 quid, cap it at 30. Hopefully my dad will actually let me use this for recording. I'm not going to be actually using the laptop itself. I'm going to be recording through it. So, can't tell me off for that. Besides, to make sure the video isn't big. And this thing ain't that heavy, so... Mm. But the toys in the bag are going to be a heck of a heavy thing. But I know there's also the risk of things getting stolen, so take your precautions. Padlocks. Quite a few padlocks. I got keys, so yeah, I can use that. So, yeah, that's one solution. So, yeah, that's the small update. Uh, also, uh, my DX3D model is finished. Yeah, uh, just went back on ZM to fix his wings and his tail and add two bones to his shoulder pads. Uh, if he puts the thing in correctly, I'll have to re-edit them, but it should be too hard. Yeah, he is pretty much finished. The only things I can't do on it are attach the wings and the tail and get the shoulder pads to be boned because they need two separate bones to move them up and down. Yeah, hard to explain. Mm. It's just like that. Um, I've got 11 films up for reviewing. Those films are... Digimon Movie 8, X Evolution, favourite one. World Race Highway 35, Hot Wheels, I love that series. Accelerators 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. No 4.0, unfortunately. Deserves a 4.0. It deserves one, it really does. Next film I've got is Convoy. I love that film. So I said, I love Convoy. And no, I'm not referring to Transformers Convoy. I'm referring to the film Title Convoy, where it's a convoy of trucks. Hence the name, Convoy. Convoy is the name of Optimus Prime in Japan, who is a truck. But not in every term, Convoy just refers to a truck. Well, a group of trucks, a convoy. So, yeah, that. Um, there's also Hack 
the movie Beyond the Wall. It's a CG anime, basically. It's about a video game. Uh, a young girl, either named Sora or Kite, uh, learns about a game called The World. It's not The World, The World. It's basically Z-E or Z-A World. The World. And there is a virus going around. And she has a bit of code in her character that is required to fix the server. So an admin from, I believe, the US, they actually have an actual voice actor who speaks English for that bit, which is not something they normally do. Normally they have broken English. <laughs> Seriously, Japan, why do you put English in the anime? You know you can get a voice actor that speaks English, so why don't you? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I've got that. It's actually a really good film. I might try and hunt down another CGI anime. I've also got... Conrader Double A to Z Memories of Fate. Uh, I'm going to be rectifying that by having a few more toku on my roster. But, yeah. Memories of Fate. It's a good one. Um, last three are Destiny Deoxys, Pokemon Movie 7, uh, Rise of Darkrai, Movie 10, and Gibbetino and the Sky Warrior, Movie 11. I also personally have uh, Black and White, Victini and Zekron and Rush Ram. So those are Movie 15, I think? I don't know. They stopped putting numbers on them, so, yeah. Fortunately, I can't get a huge gift box. I mean, because it's a Japanese-only thing. Region locks. So, yeah. A few other updates. Um, there's little mini mugs that came in the Kinder Eggs. <laughs> Being a sister and mum, mum, uh, well... We're addicted to them. I've got five of them now. I have Goblin, Iron Man, Venom, Thor, and Captain America. My top three. Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America. So, yeah. I've got five. My sister and my mum have Thor, two Wolverines, and a Captain America. And my mum has... Venom, because I ended up getting a second Venom, but my tr but my mum had a spare Captain America. So, yeah, I traded that. We're only missing Hulk, Spider-Man, Loki, and Lizard-Man. I think those are the ones we're missing. Yeah, I think those are the other ones that we're missing. And I need to guess, I need to get a Wolverine. <laughs> I want Wolverine. I don't care what people say. I want the Wolverine. It would have been awesome if they actually came with their little weapons. The tiny little full hammer would have been brilliant. <laughs> I might actually try and make that. But, yeah. We figured out how to play the game. You open the head, sandwich the two together, and you twist one of the bodies. And you twist the other. And then line them up. So make sure, you yeah, That's our thing. It's actually a rather fun game, I will admit. But, me. Yeah. Each their own. It's kind of fun. And the numbers are random. I I checked. They are completely random, so there's no way of cheating. Um, what do you think? Um, I got a new dual disc. It is the Chaos disc. The Seal of All the Chaos. Personally, I just call it the or Calcos dual disc, or the Calcos disc. It's my favourite rendition, and what I've always found annoying is that on every rendition of the dual disc, even the new ones, it's limited big time. You can't put card sleeves on the card. There are limits to cards in the deck and the graveyard. Seriously, if you're going to stick with rules, then make all the dual discs unified. 
Instead of having this to modify them, uh, it's not easy to actually put them on the wrist. It's significantly lighter than my Academy disc, which I love. Literally, it's the lightest tool disc. No irritating mechanisms. All you do is just fold it out and pull. So, yeah. In the anime, all five segments of the blade folded up into one piece and folded to the side. The actual device has two slots open and just slides around. So, yeah. I'll do a review of it some point. After I do a dueling video with my friends Jab and George. So, yeah. I've got an entire recording set up here, so... Might even be able to add some effect with 3D models. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Hmm. Um, I've also got a Power Ranger CD. Uh, broken case. Got it for £1, so yeah. Original MMPR. Reason why I got it? Ron freaking Wasserman. Seriously, his music is amazing. Disney, screw you. Yeah, I'm referring to the Mystic Force theme song bit. Irritating as hell. Yeah, I think rock would have fit Mystic Force a lot better than pop, but a hip hop song does kind of mix in with the current time, so, mm, kind of works. Um, speaking about Mystic Force, I got Mystic Force bed covers. <laughs> hey, spur of the moment, they were in town. I had to get it. Also, I got five model kits. So, yeah. When we can get a setup done, I can do some V-builds. So, yeah. Uh, also, I'm working on chainmail. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I have one tiny little chink in the chainmail, so I'll have to take that bit apart and rebuild it. But, yeah, so far it's going rather well pieces that big. Yeah. I'm about that tall. Pretty tall. And it's about that wide, roughly about. Uh, I'll have to actually measure it. I'll have to show you it. I'll do that another time. Um, currently I've been well, let me see what I've been working on. Well, mechanical hand, I've been thinking about that. How I'm going to build it. Well, I know a way of building it, but I need material to build it. We have a piece of plastic in the carport, but uh, that's for the final product. Not for a test, so yeah. I've been hunting for my black MP3. Unfortunately, all I found is my blue one. Yeah. I need to get used to using this hunger junk again, so... Mm. Yeah, this one actually has an on-off switch. So, yeah. And it's got a built-in freaking speaker. Not a very good speaker, mind you, but it's a built-in speaker. My my red MP3 is playing up, so can't use that. Uh, my friend Jake finished my review theme song a short while ago, so uh, when I can do some more videos and maybe some animations, I can incorporate those into an opening theme song and then put them as an opening video for my animations or for my normal videos, reviews, and film reviews. So yeah. Also. If plans go correctly, um, that side it's this side, HDMI. If this is correct, then I should be capable of plugging my Xbox to my laptop and be able to record that way by maybe reprogramming the slot. I just want to be able to record and play. Yeah, I don't want to have my camera pointed at the screen all the time, and it's a terrible camera to do that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't zoom while recording, so, um, doesn't work through this. 
So hopefully I can do screen recording by using uh, BB Flashback. Just need to get that registered and then I can do some videos. Uh, me and my friends now have a Minecraft server, so that's awesome. I built an underground base that is underneath a giant tree. I built the giant tree. I am also currently working on a project in Minecraft. Something that Jake came up with. Yeah, unfortunately due to uh, Jake not wanting to have his voice on camera, uh, I'm not really allowed to uh, do a gameplay. He might change his mind at some point, but mm, don't know. Uh, Sam and Sophie, they're okay with it. They'd be okay with it, I think. So I'll have to ask them. So we might get Jake into allowing us to do that, but don't know. So yeah. Seeing as most of the time it's just going to be us talking randomly, not really going to have something much to do. So, uh, I do redstone and actually constructing random stuff. So my plan is not always the easiest thing, unless I'm using the LED to actually do that. So, yeah. Um... At the moment I have 35 pounds because, well, 10 pounds went towards buying, well, 1 pound for that in the Red Cross, and also in the Red Cross, Ghost in the Shell Series 1 First Gig Standalone Complex and the two films. Yeah. myself. Yeah, unfortunately one of the discs in the uh, standalone complex was missing. So I am missing episodes 1 to 4. So I will need to hunt down those episodes online, download them, and then actually put them to a disc. Hopefully next year, maybe when I'm 18, Funimation will actually allow me to watch it or Manga Entertainment. Maybe they'll actually allow me to watch it. I doubt, but... Also, I might be getting a new VHS player. There's one in town, in the Red Cross. If it works, I might be getting it. Maybe. Just maybe. So, yeah, 22 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave at that. So, peace on the streets. Sun.